Welcome everyone, thanks for stopping in. Today we'll turn the pinion gear of the worm gear set for the miniature winch. We'll face off the end of that stock. And start reducing the lead diameter, which will be the drive end of the pinion gear. We'll just get close to our length there for now. Got a little bit of material to remove. We'll just set a temporary zero there. And we'll reduce that diameter down to that lead uh, shoulder at the end there. Uh, I know we got to go farther than that yet, so we'll just start by bringing it down to there. Pass. Just making light cuts as we got quite a bit of stick out there. We'll just uh, looks like we got a couple hundred thou more to go here. Get to our length. Okay, one more pass, and we'll check with the caliper for measurement. One one five five fifteen thou more to go. We want one seven hundred thou. We'll bring it in, touch on that inner diameter, and then bring it back another fifteen. Okay, one sixty eight sixty nine, close enough. I'm gonna reduce this diameter, which will be the drive end, the lead here, down to three sixteenths of an inch. Point one eight seven five thou. And we'll just make light cuts as we got quite a bit of stick out there. Stick around to the end of the video. We'll uh, assemble the parts that we have so far and uh, do a little test run. According to our dial, we should be getting close there. We'll run a spring pass out on the feed there. Bring the file in, check that burr on the end. Okay, length is good, diameter is close, a couple thou to go. Final cut here. And again, spring pass on the way back off. File in, check that burr. A little test fit. Yep. It's like it's supposed to. Okay. Check our measurement for our lead and where we're going to thread. We'll bring in and just, uh, we'll just face off that shoulder a little bit more there. Should bring us pretty close to our one seven hundred thou. Now we'll just run a pass down the uh, 
larger diameter area where we're going to do the threading. I have to remove a few thou there as well. Check that. Okay, a couple more thou to go. Take that off. Check our measurement again. Good. Okay, we'll bring in the chamfer tool. Chamfer the edge of that. We'll take a little bit of material there as that's where we're going to start our threading. And we'll just touch the nose off on the end here and give that a little bit of chamfer. Okay, bringing the cut, uh, set up for threading here. <clears throat> Get it started there. Just using the chuck key to turn in the uh, jaw screws. Just being careful not to loosen them as we turn there. We don't need a lot of torque on this. Backing up, breaking the thread, uh, chips, cleaning them out. More thread cutting oil. A little bit further to go here. Backing it off, breaking the chips, relube. Close to the end there now. And about there. Okay. Back her out, clean her out, in and out once. Clean those threads off. Okay, let's turn the top around. That'll get our thread closer to the end where we want to be there. Okay, clean that off, a little 3M cloth, clean out those threads good, take the burrs off the edges, move on the shaft, yeah it looks pretty good, oh wait there's a little bit of a sharp thread on the end there, let's just face that off a little bit more again. To shoulder from the small diameter up to the thread. Okay, that looks good. Test fit appears good. Bring in the part off tool, find our end, dial in for our length. And cut it off. Slow down the rotation of the spindle there. This way I can use my cross feed to part off with. It uh, moves slow enough in there to, to, uh, to facilitate that cut very nicely. Okay, we get ready to catch it. go clean it off have a look looks good okay here's all the components so far gearbox end shaft and spur gear pinion drive shaft A little bit of oil on there. And our drum. Dog. Pedestal end. Eh, starting to resemble a winch. Plenty of room there for the dog to engage and disengage. That looks good. Uh, 
Right, give me a sec here. I'll grab the uh, cordless drill and we'll uh, give her a little test run. Yeah, put a couple of dots on the uh, drum there so we can see it rotate as we go. Just grab the drive end with the drill. Get on there. Okay, we'll just make sure that's centered well. Tighten it up a bit. Okay, there we go. As we turn the pinion, you'll see the drum move, rotate. Just rotating on a friction hold right now on the counter. We don't have the keyways in just yet, but you get the idea of what we're after here. Dog engaged, drum drives, both directions, dog disengaged, drum free wheels, Dog engaged, driven by the worm gear set via the shaft down to the dog, which will drive the drum. Once the keyways are in place, that should work out. All right, glad to see it actually works. <laughs> Uh, thanks again for stopping by. Leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. See you next time.